Hey, this is Mr. Petito from Wham's Tech, and we're going to continue with our top 15 iPad OS 15 updates, and this one is focus mode. So in previous iOS versions, this was do not disturb, where you would mute your notifications and any incoming messages or calls, that way you could focus the task at hand. But they've rebranded this to be focus, and they've introduced a lot of updates and new features pertaining to this focus mode. With iOS 15, they start you off with a couple of default focus modes. So if I go to settings and focus, you see that I have the default do not disturb. I also have a personal and a work, in which I can set up here. I can also create my own focus modes. And again, during focus modes, it's going to silence the alerts and notifications, so that way you can focus to the task at hand. One application of this is that during our schedule between 12.15 and 1.15 every day, we have our lunch and study hall. And so maybe you're going to dedicate yourself to buckling down and studying during that time. So what I could do is I could create a new focus mode by hitting the plus in the top right corner and creating a new focus. I'll create a custom focus. I can name it, give it a color and an icon, hit next. Allow people for notifications. This is more for your phones, as if you have people call you or message you. In this case, we're just going to say allow none. Allowed apps for notifications. Again, you can specify which apps are allowed to send you notifications during focus mode. So maybe you want to add self-service just in case Mr. Petito decides to message you out through self-service. And then hit allow. Done. Your focus is ready. And now we see a new screen on our focus mode. And here's where we can do some more fine tuning. You can enable your focus mode toggling it on or off here. You can also enable focus mode by tapping on focus in the control center and then tapping on the correct focus mode. Or you can set it to an automation. So for example, we know it's going to happen between 12.15 and 1.15 every single day. So I can add a schedule or automation at the bottom here and specify a time between Monday and Friday from 12.15 to 1.15. When I hit done, you'll probably see that it goes right into this focus time because it is during that time at the moment. So there you go, the study hall is on. You can add additional automations for example, you can add it to a location whenever you arrive to school, then do something, or a specific app. For example, whenever you open up the Notability app, then you know it's time to take notes and it'll mute your notifications. You can also specify a home screen that's only available during that time. I can select home screen, select custom pages, and pick the page that I want available during the focus mode. For example, this screen over here only has three apps, Safari, Notability, and Drive. And maybe these, those are the only three apps I want access to during my focus mode. I can select that screen, hit done, and now we see that that's the screen that I'm currently in. What's neat is that this screen normally is hidden when I'm not in focus mode. So if I were to turn focus mode off, you see my apps come back, and you can see that that screen is not one of my normal screens. But when I enter focus mode, that's the only screen that becomes available to me. You'll also see in the top right hand corner an icon that represents the focus mode that you're currently in. So there's lots of practical applications for using focus mode during your school day. We hope you enjoyed this feature. Stay tuned for more videos and as always, thanks for watching.